It's tailgating season, and of course, we've got a great tailgating event that's going to help fight cancer. And it's in St. Mary's, and joining us today to tell us more about it, we have Tracy Lau, and she is president of St. Mary's Tailgate for Cancer. And thanks for coming today. Thank you, Holly. This is quite the tradition in St. Mary's, isn't it? it How is. long have you guys been doing this tailgate um, for cancer? This will be our 14th year. Wow. Um, so originally it was a one year plan, then it went to five, 10, and so now here we're at 14. Wow. That so is awesome. It's though. a lot of fun. And I assume it's grown a lot too through the years? It has grown. Um, every year we try to you know change things up um, but the main thing is to you know raise money for our cancer patients and local associations right yeah exactly okay so a fun thing on October 7th that's Friday it's community t-shirt day you brought one with you so what people are buying those all around town and they'll wear it on Friday yeah this year um, this is the shirt this year um, the shirts are um, $20 and then what we do with the money that's raised by all the t-shirts um, it gets distributed to uh, Mercer and Anglaise County um, cancer associations and then it also goes to like other organizations that do like um, uh, gift cards oh, you know yeah, anything okay. to help out the, right, the yes. expenses yeah right. so all the businesses get involved uh, students and I think last year we had over like 600 t-shirts that were sold wow, that is terrific it just makes wow. it a fun thing oh yeah sure and speaking of fun so Saturday then the 8th October 8th is the big event and things are happening so Give us a little rundown of what we can expect that day. Um, it starts bright and early. Um, we do a 5K, and then the uh, 5K, uh, the walkers go through Memorial Park and down the towpath, which is a beautiful walk if nobody's ever, you know, done that. Um, the runners will go through Casey Geiger, and then they come back um, to the event, and then we honor the survivors and, you know, do the traditional medals and all that. And then after the 5K this year, um, we are going to um, shut the event down at 11 o'clock just to get everything up and rolling for the the big event and the gates will open at two okay um, and gates are at the eagles right at, it's at the okay. st mary's eagles and then it's um 20 dollars for the entrance and the entrance we're changing a little bit this year also um your name will go in um when the drawing is um the evening is complete i will draw a name if they are there they will receive $1,000 cash. Uh -huh. um, not there, they will be give, receiving a $500 cash prize. Okay. Um, we have a great band this year. Um, it's north to Nashville. Um, they're really big in Columbus. They also entertained at the country concert this year. Okay. So we're really happy to have them. Sure. And there will be like um, different music throughout the day, but north to Nashville is our headline. And then we do have um, something new this year. It's a silent auction. Um, which anybody can go to our website at stmarystailgate.com and bidding is throughout the whole United States. So even oh, if you're okay. in Lima or California, you can get online and um, definitely bid on it. And it is pretty cool. It's like a QR code. So if you're, <laughs> you get outbid it, it's going to let you know right away. Oh. So that, that's something new. We're trying to evolve with all the new. Oh, um, sure. Use technology while you can, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. You can get that friend in California bidding on it. Yeah, Ex they can't be in Ohio. Exactly. But, yeah. So. Um, and then, of course, you're going to watch the football game, too. you got to have a little tailgate, yeah, right? Yeah, we were blessed this year. We finally got like a, a 4 o'clock game, which makes it really nice for us. Um, a lot of times we got the noon games oh, or whatever, yeah. but it's at 4 o'clock. We do have uh, jumbo TV screens, um, and then there also are other TVs that Fowler's TV has um, donated to us. So a lot of people that don't want to watch the high State game or keeping up on another game, um, there are other TVs there available. Mm -hmm. So it's just so much happening. And as you pointed out at the beginning, it's all for a good cause. We're fighting cancer and, and keeping it local. So yeah. uh, come on out and public's invited. And it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It is. And with our 14 year right now, we've um, raised over $1.5 million. That's a lot. So we're hoping that next year being our 15th year, you know, we can definitely hit 2 million. And like I said, our, our money goes locally, but we, we are big on um, giving money to the James to find a cure mm, for cancer. Certainly, yes. Well, thank you very much for coming today and sharing with us. Thank you, Holly. Us. All right, don't go away. We'll look at the weather forecast next.